All right, hey everybody, how's it going? Um, hope you're all doing well on this Thursday. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. Wow, I can't wait for Friday this week. It's been a while since I've wanted a weekend to appear uh, in this moment. Uh, it is so. Um, there's a prediction running right now if you want to jump in on it. It's a 2-4 prediction. Um, I started it before the stream. It seems like when I start them before the stream, they're hard to notice. Sorry about that. Uh, thank you, Chris Hepner, for the, um, the subscription. And, uh, yeah, let's do a little Splunky. I feel very just out of it this week. Like, even just, like, talking right now feels weird. I, everything is just off. I, I just don't... I am... I am... I... I'm very suspicious of myself right now. Uh, I hope you're all feeling uh, better than I am. Um, but uh, we'll muddle through anyway. Um, hopefully, muddle all our uh, all the way to uh, a Spelunky Two victory today. I'm feeling it. I think it's. I think today's the day. No, I'm not. <laughs> I can't even fake. That kind of enthusiasm. Uh, <laughs> eh, let's just get that and do that and do this. Um, <laughs> well, the thing is, Redeemer, you just never know. The, the good runs just come out of nowhere. So we'll see what happens. Um, yesterday was pretty bad, but I did have like one decent run, I think, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining that. Definitely had some weird dreams last night, so who knows? Who knows what's going on? Uh, okay. Um, I did win a Slay, Slay the Spire run. Uh, I might, if if I'm feeling up to it, I might do a Slay the Spire run at the end of this stream. Um, get, uh, oh jeez, okay. Um, what are the chances of me actually extracting that pet? I think it's actually fine. Let's let's give it a shot. Oh, I'm gonna need two ropes though. Wait, am I? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, uh, that's probably gonna require another bomb. Oh wow, perfect. Okay. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell. Weather's weird. Sleep is weird. Yeah, I don't know. I just something's just off. I mean, I'm not surprised uh, after. Um, the weekend that I had, but also just in general, something feels weird. Um, need something to throw. Or oh, we'll just do that. Um, I guess the question is now, can I find enough stuff where I could uh, get that... Ooh, do I roll the dice on this present? I'm feeling kind of... kind of spicy. I think I will. Just for fun. I never do this. Oh my god. For some reason, I had a feeling. I had a weird feeling it was going to be a jetpack. I don't know why. Hey, that was really odd. I mean, obviously, it's just a complete coincidence, but still... I believe. Um... All right. Well, time to uh, time to make this the run then. Um, historically unproductive day. Yeah, we. Um, oh boy. I just have a lot of like different things going on, but also just yeah, not not much energy. So I'm just. I feel like I'm the. Uh, few energy points that I have are being just dragged in different directions and uh, resulting in like fractions of a point. Um, oh yeah, uh, Chetna. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, I, I do want to get back to uh, Megas. Um, thank you for reminding me. I uh, It's probably time. It feels like, what, they made an MMO out of that game, right? So it's probably time. If they've already done that, there's got to be a reason to go back to that game. Uh, 
Um, oh. Health and a gun. Hmm. How much is the health? Too much. Um. Uh, are you are you responding what to the MMO part, uh, Sir Kenyon? Yeah, apparently there's a mod for Mountain Blade 2 that uh, turns it into, like, a weird MMO experience. Don't ask me how it works or why it exists, but it, it does. Um... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand how it works. But apparently, it works pretty well. There are like hundreds of people just hanging out in Mountain Blade Two towns. Um, it was posted on the Discord, so if you want to take a peek, the information is there. Oh boy, this is terrible. <laughs> There's no good way out of here. Um, all right, we'll just jetpack our way up. Yeesh. Kinda dicey. I'm gonna go uh, jungle because of the jetpack. Um, who knows? I might regret it. Probably will. Ah, oh, god. I'm also having issues with this guy. Normally you can get him to, like, slowly hop if, you, if you're close enough. But, um, lately it just hasn't been working right. Okay. Yeah, I guess um, we'll probably have to remake Mengus, though. I guess my old save is not gonna, gonna work. Ooh. Alright, so... I don't have boots? Oh, Jesus. Um, I missed... the shop yesterday. I don't want to do that again. Part of me is like, do I buy those glasses? But I, I think I gotta save my money for them. The shop. <laughs> um. was not on this level was that spawkers I guess so circadian yeah I guess it's not really worth it um. Here. Make sure that I take this guy out. Do it in a way that doesn't offend her, which I'm really afraid of. Oh! <laughs> I was really hoping that was going to happen. Okay. Um... So often in that same spot. Ta -da, that's a gem. Okay.
Uh, yeah, I might do Slay the Spire after this, uh, just one run. Um, I did uh, a little level 20, Ascension level 20, which is, if you haven't played Slay the Spire, it's like the hardest thing. Um, and uh, I made it pretty deep. Um, almost to the last, uh, well, to the Act 3 boss. Um, Oh, race with the same seed. I I could maybe get into that. I will say, Cure, um, streaming Slay the Spire has many risks uh, for the uh, streamer. Uh, I find it definitely increases my um, anxiety a bit, uh, which is fine. It doesn't bother me. Uh, it just like makes it a little harder to play, um, and it's also just. Definitely a game where um, you got a lot of opinions coming in. I don't know, a, a race? Eh, I could do that on the Discord, it'd probably be a little less stressful. Oh, if it's with somebody who's like not a pro, that would also be a little less stressful. Um, gosh, I should probably go over there, but I only have two bombs, I can't really. Uh... Oh yeah, PM. It's it's tough. It's tough to it's tough when like people are throwing throwing. Uh... Yeah, I find it easy to play that game when I know exactly what I want to do. But then when someone's like, "Oh, you should really do this," and you just like, "Oh my god, should I?" Like, "Oh, you have to sit there and." I basically just don't like thinking. Um, but maybe that means that a race would work. Well. Wow, okay. Uh, this is really disgusting, but if I can get... <laughs> That's in such a bad spot. <laughs> uh, oh, this is also the... My... Blinky. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. As long as we didn't get cursed, I'm totally happy. Um... Anyone's trying to tell me something. Sorry. What now? Oh, did I just forget the bow? Oh, I forgot the bow. Thanks, Rubix. Um, well, that's annoying. That's fine, I'll just keep going. Uh... you can buy it in this shop. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to do that. Yeah, there was a jetpack, too. Jesus. gonna, while I'm doing this, contemplate whether I want to, um... Attempt... Oh, fuck. Went the wrong way. Oh no, did it die? How did it... Oh... that died. Annoying. Uh, 
Um. Hmm. Let's just get some stuff, and uh, if I get as far as I need to uh, attempt the skip, I will try it again. That is the bet. The bet is confirmed yes. Uh, well, let's let's do that. Okay. Oh, the next one will be, let's say, let's do 7-1. Running now. Uh, I have one health, so the yeses are going to be interesting on this one. Um, I'll do health now. Oh my god. Oof. <laughs> Draw this out to the lower zone. Well, or not. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, that thing scared me so much that I just fucking died. Oh, I'm alive. Ah, that's a thing. Um, oh boy. This is a rough... <laughs> <laughs> rough section here. God. Uh, I would really love more than one health here. Uh, good lord. Alright, well, don't have to worry about that bow. That pesky bow. Uh, I don't have sticky, though. Ah! Oh, jeez. Um... Okay. I think that's actually going to work. Let's see. Yeah, congrats, anybody who bet yes. I guess uh, probably an okay payoff. One more. Looks dangerous, but it's not. Okay. Wait, slay the spire. What now? That's weird. That's Blinky too on my end. Yeah, I don't know what the what Nightbot is thinking.
I think I am going to play one round of Slay the Spire after this, but not yet. It definitely uh, occurs to me every time, Circadian. Um, it's definitely something that I've contemplated uh, will likely happen at some point, yes. I'm sure I will be saying something about, like, pizza uh, and uh, walk out the wrong door. I like that Rubix is now afraid to directly address me, but then will still question question the methods to other. <laughs> you can just ask me, Rubix, uh, because I don't like doing the whole fight. I hate that whole fight. It's boring. This actually ties into a discussion I was having last night with Problem Machine about Slay the Spire, which is like... There's definitely, um... With all games, but uh, especially these run-based games, um... <laughs> not making any suggestions. This thing he's doing is really stupid. I wonder why he's doing it. <laughs> It would be interesting if he didn't do that, if he, instead he did something else. Um, with these run-based games, I really just do, like, get very tired of certain things. And for me, like, there's definitely... Oh god. Oh boy. Well, now, I'm, now I've done it. Where's the, uh, dog? Please tell me there is one. There's one. Oh boy. I mean, like, Problem Machine was asking, you know, what is the metric for an optimal run of Play the Spire? And I thought, well, yeah, that's a fair question, because to me, <laughs> if you're playing enough hours of these things, the quote-unquote optimal run, no, no, it just, it's not necessarily optimal for me specifically. Uh... Oh my goodness. Where's the thing? Yep. And also, you know, I still just personally don't like some things in this game, and so I've optimized some of it to exclude those things, which has made it more fun for me. Um, hmm. Right, PM. Well, and then, you know, I mean, I do think, you know, there's a category of person who would just get, you know, 
four or five fights into the first act and go, eh, this isn't turning out the way that it would be perfect, and so let's just reset because it's going to take me so long to pull out the win, um, even if I do pull it out, that it's not worth it to me, and yada yada yada, and it's like, well, that's just kind of up to you, you know? Not everybody has to play it the same way. But yes, I mean, ultimately, my whole philosophy is just, can I get Krampus some lore points? For sure. Yes, we need to bankrupt Octosco and 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 um, we need a Robin Hood uh, from Octosco to 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 Krampus. That's kind of the ultimate uh, goal here, and um, anything that furthers that goal, I will adopt. Whoa! <laughs> I love when that happens. Uh, I hate when UFOs blow it up, though. thinking. Well, I guess I can't sacrifice anything else. Except myself. Oh, I guess I could just buy the dog. Yeah, that's fine. I gotta... Can you... Yeah, okay, you can jump back with the dog. Alright. Gotta, like, triple jump. Oh no, not enough! Grab the shopkeeper. Oh well. I think that's the end of that dream. <laughs> Grab Waddler. Alright. <laughs> Get through Neo Babylon if possible. Oh god. This never gonna turn off? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. And with these, I guess? Ugh. Oh my god, wow. I sort of saw that happening in slow motion, but did not um did not stop myself. Um. 
Ugh, so many orbs. Oh my god. Uh, probably, even though the other way looked really bad, this is also very bad. Um, ah! Yeah, no sticky bombs, but um, lots of bomb bombs. Gonna be tough for. Uh, <laughs> Whoops, final boss if I make it that far. Um, or I usually die on 6 3 lately for some reason. For no good reason, really. Alright. Okay, let's try this stupid thing again. Yeah, I kind of need to refresh my memory. God, that looks like it's close enough to hit me, but it's not. It's really scary. Um, I need to refresh my memory on exactly what the hell. I understand that you've got to, like, shoot your way up this, but the actual pattern is so difficult. Um, yeah, all right, I'm going to give it a shot. Mm, maybe a little higher than that. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, I made it. Well, you know what? What, that took me three tries, ultimately? I'll take it. Woo! Uh, that's a payout. <laughs> Let's see. Um... That's going to be an interesting one, I think, because I bet... I live on the edge. No! <laughs> I live on the edge. No, you don't! <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Let's see. I want to see these details. Why is it giving me all this weird stuff with emojis and... Highlight my message. What? I don't want to highlight a message. I'm the streamer. What? Rewards and challenges? Go away. I want to know who did what. Oh, this is annoying. Okay, all right, I guess I'm not, it's not going to give me the full breakdown because Twitch is, like, interrupting it with a whole thing of, like, what if you spent lore points? I don't have any. Okay, there we go. All right. It looks like the big winner was Abominable? And five others. Okay. All righty. Um, wait, whoops. Let's, uh... Give the uh, challenge a try. Oh, did good play not work? Oh no, it's on. Uh... Oh, it might be that I have to. Do you have to be on this page of the thing? Oh no, it's just it's because when I started streaming, my my system audio was set differently again. Sorry. Um, oh, that's such an annoying limitation of this.
And the thing is, restarting it, even though my system audio is set correctly right now, restarting the program doesn't work any... Like, all right, hold on. Let's let's try it. That was good. Play. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was good play. That was good play. That was right. good play. Um. Well, I'm really happy I did that. That um, <laughs> that really was not too many attempts before I uh, managed to pull that off. Pretty happy with that. Like, I think that's really the third time that I tried it. Maybe the fourth at most. Oh, sorry, sorry, buddy. Um. Speaking of things I haven't tried that many times, uh, whoops. Let's do the sun challenge. Uh, well first I'm gonna just check and see if there's any... Oh right, there's no reason to do it. I forgot about that. Yeah. I don't really need the practice. I mean, I know how to do it now, and I feel like um, there's no reason to do it. I should just keep going. Thank you for reminding me of that, PM. Yeah, is there a statue? Oops. Fuck. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Looking for it a minute ago. I don't have sticky, so I don't. I don't think I'm gonna beat the uh, final boss here anyway. But oh, that's true. I do have spike shoes. Yeah. Did I miss a box? Oof, that feels like a dangerous one. <laughs> I guess I can get in and out. These things, I don't like to mess around with too much. Um... Well, what's nice is I'm finally, like, no longer that nervous once I get to this point. It's just become, like, another time that I'm here, which is good, because there's just no way I'm uh, going to beat it otherwise. still probably gonna die but it's fine i kind of like don't want to win because if i win and i don't have the bow i'm gonna kick myself but that's also fine because i'm not actually gonna like beat cosmic ocean ever so who cares what the hell what the hell i guess you can't enter from do you think i should just get to the very top and then what i just bounce off of him um Towards the ceiling, um, Rubik's. All 
I know. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Top left or right? Okay. Should I try to go? Maybe I should try to go for like a bomb like here as it's approaching. Like drop a bunch of bombs on the ground. Try to get like one of the heads first. Does that make sense? Or. Rely on popping the head. Okay. I do have a free death, but I don't know that it matters here. <laughs> I don't know where you. I think you what be be at the bottom. I guess. Too much randomness with the bombs. All right. Oh, it's so tempting to drop like a bunch of bombs. So, should I be going down there now? <laughs> I thought it goes all the way to the top. Wait it out? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, of all the times, if I actually do this of all the times, not having the fucking... Not having the bow, of course. How many times did I say when I was streaming this game, I gotta get the bow, because like, if it's the time that I do it, it's probably not gonna be the time that I do it. But like, gotta get the bow, because if it is... <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's fine. I'll take a I'll take a straight victory if I get it here. I guess this is just gonna happen. <laughs> It'll take five minutes. Okay, cool. All right. Well, I'll just sit here and savor my my victory then. Um, on this of all weeks, where I was really just not. The thing is, I I did kind of artificially delay this victory in going for the, the jungle path for three weeks for no reason, but pretty happy uh, to finally do it if this happens. Yeah, I mean, I didn't do the sun challenge, however, I do have, you know, I did have the... Um, the skull and 10 health, which, like, I've done it multiple times with that amount of health and that and the skull, and it, it wasn't a problem, so I think I probably would have done it. Um, either way, it's a 7 4 victory, I'll fucking take it. A weird, uh, a weird thing. So what poisons it? Is it the the big? <laughs> it can take up to ten minutes. Oh man! I guess it's just doing like one point of damage every uh, ten seconds here or something. Oh, there are poison arrow traps. Okay. Well, this feels like karmic, uh, you know, um, revenge. 
all the times I got poisoned in this game. Hey, Adrix asks, how's the hunt, house hunt going? Oh, uh, we're gonna see some places tomorrow. It's, it's like, you know, it's like any house hunt. Uh, you get discouraged, then you get encouraged, then you get discouraged. Uh, we haven't actually tried to do anything yet, but um, the market is just... <laughs> uh, Yeah, Rubik's. I've seen I've seen it bopped before, um, but uh, I just kind of assumed I would end up doing bombs because that seems um, I guess I end up getting the spike shoes pretty often though. So maybe maybe that maybe that would be my kind of go-to. Well, maybe now I'll have to get into um, duplicating the uh, Sun Challenge reward. people are looking forward to? I don't know, Anshix. That's a good question. You respawn right where you are. Um, I'm probably not going to risk it. I'm going to take my 7-4 victory all the way to the bank and um, say that I've done it just so that I can mentally free myself up to... Uh, I did see that um, the game that Elvac worked on, Returnal, uh, is getting some praise. Um, I don't have a PS5, nor do I uh, tend to get one soon, even if, if they were uh, available. But I um, did see that on Twitter today. Uh, oh, thanks, Joel. Appreciate the sub. The thing I saw is that it, like, it's got some super stardusty kind of mechanics, which piqued my interest a bit. Like that it was a interesting uh, mishmash of progression stuff. But uh, I don't know. Other than that, I don't. I don't really know what's out there this year. Um, I guess the next Zelda? <laughs> I don't know. The Minecraft update. Oh, Resident Evil? Yeah, I'll play that. Is that coming out, like, next month? Oh, this is a long time. Okay, no problem, Krampus. Yeah, that, that, that'll work. Pokemon Snap is next week. Wait a minute, really? Wow. All right, well. Janelle's going to be very excited about that. We'll have to do a, a Janelle Pokemon Snap stream on release night.
Oh, I did see that Mario Golf is coming out, and I was trying to... I was probably going to buy that if it had been out when I was on the Switch shop. I, that, that I will play. I love to golf with my friends. Um... Wow, what are we at? We're at 11 minutes? This is impressive. Oh! Oh, nope, still, still going. The thing is, if I die, I'm going to lose that jetpack. Uh, so... At least I probably will. I know I have ropes, I just mean it, it would be harder to bop him after that. Right. Have to amble down and... <laughs> Court says, what is supposed to be happening here? Both heads of this boss are poisoned, so we're just waiting it out as opposed to anything riskier, because I would like to just take my first victory to the bank. Um, yeah, when one of the heads dies, I might bop it. But also, Bill, do you want to be responsible for 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 not, uh, you know, for no uh, victory here? Everyone's just trying to egg me on to ruin this somehow. <laughs> Set up a bet. Please don't, Bob. This is making me so nervous. <laughs> Okay, Battle. I promise you I will not bop. Oh! Something happened? I think one of them died, maybe? Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh, I kind of want to bop it now, though. It wouldn't be hard. It's, it's firing a little faster now, it seems. It seems like the pattern's picked up now that there's only one. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I finished him off. <laughs> uh, I'd actually... I'm a lot less scared of all of this World 7 stuff now, which is, which is great. Ugh. Wow. Okay, well this was um, a long time coming, but I will take it. I'm quite happy. Bow notwithstanding, um, it was still a good run. The jungle stuff was not easy. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, hey, Danielle. You're here for my uh, first Splunky 2 World 7 victory. I guess. I'm gonna just call it I beat the game. Cosmic Ocean is sort of a joke. <laughs> I definitely beat the game. Yay! <laughs> what a weird... I just, like, did not expect, uh, I just, this, this, I was so out of it this week. Um, yeah. I never have to play Splunky 2 again, it's true. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> no, I do, I do want to get there with the bow, um, soonish. But I think that's pretty doable. I've done the Sun Challenge enough times now that it's not. It's not, like, that much of an impediment. Please play around 8.20. I... let's see, it's 3 o'clock. I would be up for one run, if only because it's probably going to be short. Um, but I will give it a shot. Oh man, how satisfying, though. Alright, well, thanks, Rubix, uh, in all sincerity, uh, for helping me through the... Um, I, did, I did review your, your rope video, so I will thank you for that. 
Um, and uh, thanks everybody for hanging out while I muddled my way through Spelunky 2 over the last uh, X number of months. Let's see, total playtime, 118 hours to get to this point, so that was not trivial. Um, although Slay the Spire is oof, probably higher now. Uh, um, <laughs> it's not good. Apparently I like these two games. Um, I like this uh, jazzy credits music. Is this the same music from um, a 6-4 victory, or is this different? Feels different. Um, eggplant run? Sure, why not? Let's just we'll we'll uh we'll just go nuts now. Oh, Danielle, are you super into into the breach? I guess I did see you streaming it. Um. I, that's that's actually these this game Slay the Spire and Into the Breach are the games I've put the most hours into in the last year and a half, like by far. I played a lot of Into the Breach, mostly on Switch though. Um, uh, video games I I did Spelunk, uh, Speed Lunky three thousand hours. Oh wow. Oh I should stream Into the Breach. Uh, Every time I stream into the Breach of Space Fire, though, it does feel like, unless you've played it, everybody else is just very confused. <laughs> but yeah, 3,000 hours. Okay, I don't know how many I have on PC. Probably not many. 32. On Switch, it's definitely over 100, though. But 3,000, that's... You, <laughs> you completely dwarfed me. Um, I take it you've got all of the uh, unlocks, then. All the coins. There are some that are still confounding me. Um, do you make a Danielle? Do you do a lot of uh, custom squads? I've been playing that way recently, and that's really fun for me. Like just trying like a three jet run, for instance. That's been like a, a really, uh, a really good time for me. All right. <laughs> well, it wasn't the daily, but I'll take it. I will take it. See, now, here's the sad thing, though. If that was just, like, a chest full of Tobies, <laughs> we really need to get the Toby mod back in there. Um, I am really sad that that's not, like, a thousand Tobies running out right now. Maybe that's the that's the next priority is, is getting Toby back in. People are using mods just fine. All right, let's. I'm gonna make a note to myself. Toby Spelunky mod, and that will be something I look into. Um, well, uh, thank you all for um, bearing with me while I beat that game. I am extremely happy that I finally did it. Uh, but I'm not done with it. I'm for sure gonna try to get to the Cosmic Ocean, and um, it seems pretty possible now. I guess uh, I guess I will do a Slay the Spire level 20 run and just see how that goes. It's probably gonna be pretty rough. Uh, I got lucky, I think, to some degree on my run yesterday, but um, we'll see. I think this is probably how I'm gonna start playing this game, though. I don't, I don't, um, I don't know if I'm gonna go back down to any lower lower levels. It's kind of fun playing at the highest uh, difficulty. Anyway, let's give this a shot. I'm going to go Defect again, um, just because it's the one that I'm playing the most recently. I don't know... I could try Silent, but I really, like, really don't know what I'm doing with the latest patch. Um, so I need to play... I need to play on the PC version a bit before I were, like, before I were to stream that at all. Um... Oh yeah, predictions. Good question. Um, let's go. Let's go like act predictions, maybe. 
Like, will Nick make it to, like, Act 2? Maybe? Yeah, let's start with that. If you know Slay the Spire, this is going to be kind of tough, because if you don't know Slay the Spire, then it's it's a little... Um, make it Act 3 for the first one? <laughs> Alright! That's going to be similar to a Splunky bet, though, in that I don't know... I don't know uh, I'm going to make it. Um, I think it should be Act 2. Yeah, I think it should be Act 2. I'm going to run that. Um, if you haven't played Slay the Spire, I don't know. I would say I have a... I don't know. On level 20, it's tough. I I don't know. I'd probably say it's 50-50 that I make it to Act 2, and it's probably more like I have a 30% chance or lower of making it to Act 3. Um, but, you know... Up to you. All right, I'm gonna run the uh, run the prediction now. I did pretty well yesterday. I made it almost to the end of Act Three. Um, uh, this is an interesting choice. It's either these two. Uh, I'm tempted to just take the first one just for fun. Um, although we do have an, a shop, two shops early. So the 100 gold. And I don't want to go this way, though, because it's not many fights. I want to fight a little bit more than that early, so I think I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick this path. Um, which is the same as this path. And... I'm going to do the card. All right, buffer's not terrible. All right, here we go. Um, I don't really know how to explain this for people who haven't played this game. Um, it's a single-player card game. This the, the characters have very different mechanics. This character, the way that it works is, um, generally speaking, you're going to be channeling these orbs, and each there are like I think five categories of, of orb. Um, and they each kind of do different things at the end of the turn, so Lightning just does random damage to different enemies. Um, Frost puts up a block around you at the end of the turn. They also trigger if, um, you see, like, passive and evoke. Evoke means if they get pushed out. So, like, this is almost like a clock face. So when you um, add new orbs, they start from the uh, left side here. And as they get added, they push the old ones out in this direction, um, clockwise. And when they get pushed out, they do more damage. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's a very fun game. Um, I would uh, I'd recommend playing this game if you have not and have any passing interest in, like, hard, single-player-y kind of things. Um, yeah, my the trouble I had last night is I got very little uh, frost, and it's really tough if you don't have much block, especially at this difficulty level. You just discovered there's a 35mm work print of Jurassic Park that's been floating around for a few years, which is full frame. You can see the... <laughs> Uh, well, how has that not been digitized, I guess, is my question. Because there have been a lot of 35 mil prints of, like, Star Wars movies. Oh, it has been. Oh, well, then I can probably find it. I mean, if it's out there, we can probably just Discord stream that, and it, it should be. I'm gonna... Uh, here, I'll make a note... I'll make a note for that. 35 mil Jurassic Park underneath Splunky Toby mod. Um, yeah. All right. Um,
Um, I haven't been taking Compile Driver lately, but I might take it early here. I don't know. I think I will. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take this money and then just remove this. So, um, for people who haven't played this game, this is the deck that I currently have right now. These are called, like, curse cards, and, um, you can't really generally get rid of them except for, um, at the shop. You can spend 75 gold to remove them. So if you're close to a shop, you're gonna get 150 you're, you're gaining 75, essentially, even if you have to spend money to remove it. It does mean you can't remove another card, and another thing about this game is that these basic attack and defend cards eventually get phased out. Um, but early on, it's, like, not as important. Probably take the 75 here and remove. Okay, good, Rubix. Yeah, I will, uh, I will join you in the hunt for that. For sure. Sounds extremely important. Um, that buffer card means the next time I have damage dealt to me or damage that would get through block, uh, it just erases it. Um, and in that case, I just didn't feel like taking damage, so... I'm here, I'm gonna just fully block. I'm gonna hope that it eventually... Mm, Alright. Um... I'm gonna probably play this stuff a little slower than I did yesterday on the Discord, because I made, like, two mistakes, and it wasn't devastating for the run, but this is, like, hard enough that I shouldn't be taking too much extra damage at the beginning here. Um, I like this card, especially early when I don't have a lot of frost going on. I'm probably going to take it. So retain means that it stays in your hand and doesn't um, get discarded at the end of your turn. So this is just a 13 block that I can trigger whenever I want to. I think I'll probably take that. Um, yep. It's about when you want to hit a shop. Like, 300 goldish is kind of the right number. Um, and then now I'm in a... <laughs> in a real dilemma where I want both of these cards, but I can't afford them if I also remove that, uh, that curse. There is another shop way down the line here, but do I want to live with that curse that long? Probably not. So, I'm gonna get rid of it. And as tempting as the fragment is, I think I really need Rainbow. Just to get some orb generation going early here. Um, also, when you upgrade it, it doesn't exhaust, so it's just three orbs you get for two energy every time you pull it. Um, so this is kind of an unfortunate <laughs> math situation, but it's fine. We'll keep going. Um, okay, so this is a lot of elite stuff here. I, I generally played it safer um, on the playthrough last night, just because I thought it was going to be really tough if I hit a bunch of elites early, which is usually true. I think Oh, there's this shop here, too, which I don't know if I'm going to want. I don't have much money. This is a tough decision. Because this is, you know, if I, if I went this path, this is three elites and only one bonfire. In this case, it's two elites. So I guess I'll go left. I'll go left, I'll upgrade the rainbow card, and then fight this elite. Which gives me a little... cycling at least. Oh boy, it's Lagavulin. Okay, well here we go. Um, at least I can get the buffer in before... 
So this this boss is sort of notorious. He has eight block. He doesn't come awake until you get through the block and um, actually take uh, hit him for damage. Um, after three turns, he'll come awake. Um, he'll he'll wake up uh, regardless. So for defect, it's kind of nice because you can just like get your get your frost going and get your buffer up and stuff, and then. This, he, he gains his block again every time, so the three damage that the lightning does isn't like a big deal. Um, gonna wait through that, and then we'll attack this turn ideally. Yeah, perfect, okay. Um, but yeah, this is a tough fight sometimes. Um... Hmm. Well, the question is, yeah. See, this is the this is the tricky thing with buffer. It's like even if I block with this thirteen, thirteen plus two plus two is not enough to block this twenty. So there's no reason to use that. Uh, so I'm just gonna rainbow. Ugh. Well, I'm gonna take some damage. Um. Can do this. Let's see what I get. Okay. Gross. I can pull my five dexterity potion and get this up to twelve block, which is maybe worth it. Probably worth it. A little prudent, but that's okay. Get out of that. Oh, hey. So the dark uh, orbs. Um, I'll explain those when I get back to another fight. But uh, well, this is a slightly tough decision. I like having go for the eyes just to mitigate some damage. Um, applying weak means that. Um, as long as the enemy has weak, they're doing less damage to you. 25% in this case. Um, uh, yeah, no worries, Cord. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I was just expecting to die much faster yesterday, so I, I didn't bother explaining the game very much. Um, the way that these status effects work, uh, in some cases, um, like with weak especially, applying one means it's good for that turn, and then it, will ex it, it goes away. So if you had like 10 weak on a monster... It'd be 9, then 8. And it doesn't stack or anything. It just means that that's the number of turns that it's applying. Um, that's a thing that like was confusing to me early on. I thought, like, oh, I've got like 10 vulnerable on this guy, so he should be really vulnerable. But it just means that he's going to be that vulnerable for that number of turns. Um, I think between the two of these, I'm going to do go for the eyes. I've already got decent lightning. So transforming... Um, Transforming is, uh, it just randomizes, um, one of the cards. So I'll do it on a strike here and just see what we get. I got a stack. Stack is, uh, gaining block equal to your discard pile. And the number of cards that are currently in your discard pile, not terrible. But not, not great. Um, <laughs> this relic is so annoying. I guess it's fine, but it's it's not very very good in my opinion. It lets you, any of those curse cards, you can play them, which, uh, when you do, you lose a hit point. I guess in really dire circumstances, that'd be nice to have, but it's not, um, not my favorite. Ugh, well, I've got a good potion for this fight. This fight is really annoying. Um, what happens here is this enemy attacks first, and then these two attack at the same time, and they kind of alternate. Every time um, they attack, uh, well, I guess it's not when they attack, but each turn, each of these shoves two useless cards into your deck, and um, it's uh, it just eventually your your 
your deck just becomes a mess if you don't eliminate these uh, these guys. So um, I'm gonna lead with that, and um, I'm gonna block just to mitigate some of the damage. I'm probably gonna use this potion. I'm gonna wait for a minute in case I get some kind of wild draw here where I don't care about it. Um, Ah, not bad. Hmm. I think that I will just defend and zap. Call it a day. Alright, so now in this case you'll see... Um, well, no you won't. So these enemies all start with one artifact, and artifact means that it negates however many debuffs the, for however many artifacts it has. So in this case it's one artifact, which means if I try to weaken this guy, it will just take away the artifact instead of, uh, instead of doing a cool thing. Um, which is fine, I guess. Uh, you know what? No, it's not. I'm going to just damage the one that I'm, I've got weakened here. So now, on the next turn, I can just Explosive Potion and kill this one. But we'll see if I want to do that or not. Um, I think I can just probably get him with this. Well, we'll see. Yeah, okay. Um... The... <laughs> uh... Hey, let's just... I'm caught between the probably correct play here and the expedient play. I guess I will play it. Well, I'm only going to lose one. Oh, no, I won't lose anything here, actually. That's that's because it, it uh, pushed out the frost, and so I gained more block there. Um, it's, it's fine. All right. This fight actually went okay. I lost 15 health-ish, but it could have been a lot worse. These dazed cards are the ones that they shove into your deck. Um, they disintegrate after they hit your hand, so um, after a couple of turns of this, you get... Get everything out of there. Once you've got both of them down, both of the uh, or two of two of them down, rather. Um, oh, hey, those got upgraded from that. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know here. I guess uh, probably static discharge, which. Um, one of the things you can do with Defect is uh, get like a power deck going. So powers are cards that just kind of apply passive bonuses, essentially. Um, you still have to play them, but once you play them, they're done, and you don't have to keep playing them. Uh, in this case, whenever I get attacked and I get hurt, I channel one Lightning Orb, so that could be pretty, uh, pretty good over time. All right, so do I want to... If I get some money out of this question mark, this shop would be good. But if I go this way, I get more cards. And I get this bonfire. I think I'm going to go this way. Um. Ooh, in this case, this is sort of interesting because he's only going to do one hit point of damage, but it will channel a lightning off of that, which is kind of nice. Um... Uh, what am I doing? I guess I'm gonna block. So these guys always um, attack every turn for like three or four turns, and then they get ready to run, and if they run all this money that they're stealing from you, they take with them. Kind of like a Final Fantasy enemy, like it, it reminds me of like, um, something out of Final Fantasy, but... 
Uh, I think if I like just dual, ca if I rainbow, if I dual cast and then rainbow, I think I might just kill him. But I don't really want to take that much damage if I'm wrong. This would be 16. Well. Yeah, essentially it'll be 16 plus. A, nah, it might not. It might not kill him. Well, 24 plus whatever's left here, which might just be the one. I guess it's just the one lightning. I don't think that's enough. It would be if I use this potion, but I'm gonna save it. Uh, I'm gonna do okay. be. That'll get him down to 12. Yeah, I've got a. I've got a block. I think. There's really no reason to play this risky because I'm. Clearly gonna kill him. I say that, and yet I didn't get any attacks here. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought about using the potion, but like, I don't have enough money to care. Um. All right, self repair here, and then well, oh man, I'm thinking self repair upgrade. Honestly, as much as the double buffer would be, well, no, that's stupid. I'm gonna double buffer. Makes this card so much more useful. It's two energy, and if you don't get two blocks out of it, it's kind of rough. Um, the bad opening hand, I might just use it. Wait, what? Oh, did I? I just used a potion that should have grabbed some cards, and I think maybe I accidentally canceled it because I'm not used to the PC version. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Uh, well, that's annoying. Um, uh, yeah, let's just do this. Not taking more damage. Ooh, regen. Um, yeah, I like charge battery. I'm not happy I don't have Glacier yet, so I'm going to take charge battery just to mitigate that. Yeah, I, I think I just... The Switch version, honestly, if you're thinking about picking this game up and you don't care about streaming it or whatever, I highly recommend the Switch version. I think it's actually better. Um... Alright. Um... Oh, it's also on Game Pass. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm glad I did the double buffer. Ooh, 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 don't die yet. Oh my god. I almost screwed up. Want to get that self repair in because at the end of the combat it heals you seven hit points, and so you want to make sure you play it at least once. Um, all right. Uh, normally, honestly, at 38 hit points on like even Ascension 15, I would just Smith here, but I'm gonna rest just for just for uh, a little safety. Um, So the way this boss works, all the bosses are entirely predictable. They're always the same. Um, well, I guess not at level 20, but anyway. When you get this boss down to half health, it splits into two bosses of the same amount of health. So what you want to do is, on the turn right before that happens, do a lot of damage so that the half, the split health is like 50 as opposed to 75. Um, 
Which can be tricky with defect, but maybe we'll get lucky here. Um, well, we haven't, because dual cast would have been the really lucky <laughs> thing. Um, I guess I will self repair to get that out of my deck. And then, yeah, end the turn. Um, all right, well, it's a good stack. I think this is going to be okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll take a little damage, but not enough where I'm going to use this potion yet. Especially considering I have buffer here. Um, which I guess I'll play. I'm looking for dual cast on this dark here, is what I want. Ah. Yeah, I really should play rainbow. Um, well, I could compile and, and see if I pull it. I'll, I'll draw three cards, but there are 21 possibles. Um, not great. Not great odds. If I rainbow, I think I'm going to knock him to like 70 perfectly, though. And it's going to be kind of gross. Hey, roll the dice. Ugh. Should we, should we get nuts? I think I'm going to get nuts. I think I'm going to skip. I mean, I'm going to burn these slimed cards, but I, I might... I might pray for dual cast on the next turn just for the perfect. The perfect situation. Plus, I've got buffer. There's really no reason not to. Yeah, so I'm just going to let him hit me. Uh. Yeah. And I guess I'll charge better for the extra energy. Yep. So dark orbs, every turn they gain six damage, and then when you eventually evoke them, like use them, they do the bottom number. Um, like this is how much it's gaining per turn, and this is how much it's doing when you eventually push it out or use a card that triggers it. Like, in this case, I can't channel this Frost because it will push it out, and what I want is I want the dual cast card, which will cast it twice. At this point, it would just pretty much kill him. Um, so, I'm going to wait. I think this is going to work out perfectly, though. Yes! Oh my god. Well, that's just like a perfect slime fight. All right, I'm gonna take Echo Form here. So Echo Form is um, uh, a really good card. Um, it, it it essentially for the rest of the fight, you it it plays the first card each turn that you play twice. So um, you can imagine how powerful that would be. Like with the card that I have right now that channels three orbs, it would channel six. It's just it just stacks everything. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of a no-brainer uh, a lot of the time. This is an interesting decision. So the, the way this game works is at the end of the boss fights, um, you get these three relic choices. They're always different. Um, Black Star is nice. It doubles the relics you get from fighting elites. Um, Yes, you can, Cord. Uh, there are wacky power decks with Defect where um, you can get power cards that generate more power cards that are like randomly, and sometimes it's just like you get three or four Echo Forms. Um, so this transforms all Strike and Defend cards, which I still have a lot of. The danger of this with other classes is that sometimes you need these Defend cards. In this case, eh. So, um, I probably will transform. It's a bit of a die roll in the sense that you can get unlucky and the cards you get are bad. But I did make it to Act 2. 
complete prediction. Uh, next prediction. Will Nick make it to Act 3? I'm going to put that as a two-minute window. You have two minutes to get those bets in. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. I think I will take Pandora's box. The choker gives you more energy per turn, but you can't play more than six cards, and sometimes that can really mess you up. And I don't know what kind of deck we're going to end up with here. Um, I'm going to transform. Let's see what happens. Ooh, okay. Eh, eh. Mixed bag. This is a good card. Um, poor focus. Focus. I'm getting kind of tired explaining all this. I, stop me if it's annoying. Uh, focus. Um, each point of focus gives you extra uh, damage or block on your orb. Um, your currently channeled orbs. Uh, so that's a pretty nice one to have. Um, but the other ones are just kind of fine. They make the orbs better. All right. Um, this is probably the shop I'm going to use if I'm going to use one at all. So let's see. Probably like this way. Ugh, I really don't like these guys. Um, this can often be a lot of damage early on here. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to have Echo. That'll help. The way these work is that you've got to hit them four times in the same turn to knock them out of the air. And they... Uh, then lose uh, damage. The other thing that sucks about this, <clears throat> this buffer would normally prevent, now that I've got Echo, would prevent the next four times I lose hit points. Each one of these one by sixes is technically an attack, and so they would just wipe the buffer out instantly. Um, on the other hand, Static Discharge here, really good, because every time I get attacked, they're going to trigger this, so this is actually going to be like game over in like two seconds. Um... I'll just do... <laughs> alright. 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 Highly amusing. Um... I don't like any of those right now. Also hate this boss. Uh, this might be a good time to use my regen potion, which is going to give me five health, and then four health, and then three health on successive turns, etc., etc. Um, uh, I need to get my orbs going. Let's do this. I might save buff. Uh, I save buffer until I get echo. I could lose a lot of health on the way. I can also drink this potion, which I guess I will. Um, um, all that, and I'm still going to buffer. Okay. Perfect, actually. So, because he's doing 12 and I have 12 block, this buffer remains, which is good. Um, yeah, we're going to need Echo here because this is just a lot of uh, damage I'm going to have to do. Gonna boost my orbs by eight, and it's gonna bring them down each turn, but 
hopefully we don't care about that. Um, ugh, I don't have a good way of... Well, he's only doing 15. All right. Right, the double cast. That was somewhat dangerous. I wanted to dual cast this dark, but I forgot that was gonna happen. Okay. Alright, and then... Okay. Um... Let's do white noise here. White noise generates a random power card, which is nice to have. Toby's here. Okay. What are we doing here? Um. Could be a bad one. Eh, maybe it's fine. Hey buddy. Oh. Someone bought you a trade, Cordios. Okay. Um. I was afraid of. 24 damage. Uh, let's draw a card. Mm, okay, we can keep drawing more cards, but... We're going to want to do that. Okay, that's 12 block. That's fine. Alright, lose a little damage, but not the worst. Well, now we get Echo Form. Ugh. Oh my god. Well, this is bad news. Um... Not much I can do. Think I'm dead? No. No. Okay. That was bad. Not dead. Uh, I need to be careful here. Do I want a biased? Or just double rainbow? Double rainbow all the way? Highest first, then one rainbow? Highest first, then one rainbow. Hmm. Alright. Well, we're low on health, but I think we have a thing coming. Bonfire. Um, I... Loop is good. I'm going to take loop here. Um, I can't remember discard in your... Um, hologram is nice, too. Uh, it puts a card from your discard in your um, hand, but a lot of the cards that where I would want that to be the case, I don't really have. Most of the stuff is going to exhaust. I'm going to do loop. Oh, we're not near a bonfire. Oh boy, we gotta go through an elite. Uh-oh. I... Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Okay.
Not feeling good here. Okay. Um, we're gonna have to buffer even though... Even though it would be better to echo buffer. Is a major bummer. This could be bad. This could be the end. Which is fine. I don't feel great all of a sudden, so totally fine with that. Um... Block. Um, might be okay, might be okay. We're okay. Oh shoot, I bet I had um, healing power there. I got too excited. I bet I, I should have healed. First, now we're in trouble. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh, this is a rough path, man. <laughs> I should have gone to the left. It looked a lot easier. Why did I go this way? I guess because I didn't want to shop early, but like just in general, this seems like a much better path. Because you've got an early bonfire there. Yeah, this path has no bonfire until right here. Ouch. Ugh. Um, do that, we'll cast that, retain equilibrium. Ah, okay. Uh, we're gonna buffer, well, we're gonna white noise first. Ooh, eh, that doesn't help us. Definitely buffer this. We'll use that. Definitely... Man, I want to use Echo here, but I don't. And an Echo self repair would save this run, too. I maybe should have used my Chaos Ocean on the last turn to try to pull that off, too. Um, God, if I don't. Oh my god, I'm so pained by this. Um. I guess this is kind of a no-brainer. Shit. Um. <laughs> All right. Um. This will double evoke Frost here, but I don't think I want to do that anyway. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Um... Can't afford any of it. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh. Uh. Oh, that's zero. Okay. Oh, this is actually perfect. Oh my god. 
Alright, we're back up to 22 health. A very luxurious, safe 22 health. Oof. Oh no. <laughs> These guys are the worst. This is probably over. Um... What did I just draw? Okay. Nothing great. Uh... That out the gate? Um, no, because this would be 21. I'd be at 43. No, I'm not dead out the gate. I can, I can. I can block this out. Even with 14, 6. Yeah, I can actually do white noise and then um, get force and I'll live. Uh, Been if I hadn't, if I'd, uh, if I'd done the whole uh, triple block on that one, but that was tough. I, I think I just, honestly, I chose the wrong path. Um, this, this is, this was the safe one, and I chose the one with like a million elites. <laughs> That's fine. I actually, I'm feeling kind of nauseous. I need to stop streaming right now, but. Um, that was fun, though. I enjoyed that. Uh, I really appreciate um, those of you who know how to play this game, restraining yourselves from uh, um, suggestions when I when when I wasn't soliciting. I, I uh, that that made that a lot easier to stream. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, that was fun. All right. Well, you know, we'll split Spelunky and Slave Spire for my when I'm not feeling up up to up to snuff and um next week i'm gonna do far cryer picks but uh while i'm still feeling a little gross i'm gonna be doing um doing this generally um anyway um oh did you pay out the the thing bill thank you um all right yeah i'm gonna go but uh toby says goodbye and um i'll see you all later um uh, Cord, I sh I'm guessing I'll be fine next week. Um, but, um, yeah, I appreciate it either way. Um, anyway, yeah, take care, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Yay, Friday. Bye. Hour two and a half, and I think we're on world record pace. Not everyone runs this category. Um, oh! Hi, my name's Nick Brecken. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wow, I've never clicked this button. Yeah, I'm Luke Skywalker, yeah. Yeah! No! I am a game developer, occasional podcaster. Don't open the door, you coward! I stream uh, almost daily on this channel now called Idle Thumbs. No! We have a really good community. Oh, oh no! Please join us for, um... Nope, nope. Oh my god, I'm alive. <laughs> The hoisting? Join us for the madness. Oh no, the engine's too big. <laughs> Join us for the hubris. What I need to do is stand on the roof of this Jeep and fire a rocket propelled grenade. Oh no, no! <laughs> I occasionally stream with my girlfriend, Janelle. I live on the edge. No. I live on the edge. No, you don't. <laughs> Sorry, I occasionally stream with my partner, Janelle. Oh, no. Oh, Toby. And my wonderful dog, uh, Toby, who you may see. Oh my God, Toby. <gasps> Toby, get out of there. Uh, th th this part's not gonna be used. Ready for the knowledge. <laughs> Hi.
Why? This is how you take pictures. You take a lot of pictures and then you select the one good one, right? Isn't that how you take pictures? That's all. Ah, you piece of shit! You did it! <laughs> that was way too big. I don't like being that big. I, I like, I don't, this is, this is a much better size for my face. <laughs> this should be censored. <laughs>